Distance Learning, the New Normal. Distance education can be defined as a method of teaching where the teacher and the student are physically separated. The term makes most people think of online learning, but distance education has been around since the 18th century in the form of correspondence courses through the mail. As technology developed, distance education began to use tools such as radio and TV. And finally, with the advent of the internet, found the perfect medium for distance learning. The terms distance education and online learning are not synonymous though. You can educate at a distance without using the internet. And many face-to-face -face classrooms use the internet as a supplemental resource to track assignments, provide extra resources, and collaborate on projects. Online learning saw a huge increase in the early 2000s. From 2012 to 2017, the number of students enrolled in online programs grew by 43%. Online learning ranges from completely asynchronous classes offered at a self-paced level, to asynchronous classes with weekly deadlines, to synchronous classes with scheduled video conference meeting times. Best practices for online learning include some of the following. Teachers should be present at the course site and consistently available. Courses should be designed to create community among students. Activities should be both synchronous and asynchronous, and assignments should be varied between group work and individual work. Current events and real-life experiences should be focused on whenever possible. And most importantly, resources must be easily accessed from students' computers, laptops, pads, and phones. As educational models are moving away from the traditional mode of lectures and note-taking, the role of instructors is becoming one of coaching, giving feedback, and encouraging students as they actively build their own knowledge bases. This focus on each student's educational experience is greatly enhanced by online learning resources, which make personalization possible to a greater degree than traditional brick-and-mortar classrooms can. Even before the pandemic-induced quarantines of 2020, online education had changed the landscape for distance education. Even after campuses are opened back up, higher education may never return completely to the face-to-face -face model in use before the pandemic. Distance education has come a long way since 1728, and online learning is here to stay.